We took the train from Amsterdam. It was a three hour train ride and we are so happy to be here. Headed to our Airbnb and here's a tour. This is our Airbnb in Paris. We are in a little suburb and this is the kitchen. And this is the living room. Absolutely gorgeous. And this is where the girls will be sleeping. They have two twin beds, period. And then this is where I'll be sleeping. It's giving luxurious. It's giving, oh, well, it's like we live here for real. And then you can see out in front of you over here. And then the bathroom, the bathroom. Yes, ma'am. And look at the tub. We gotta be careful right here because this, and I think this tub has a bidet. Like all the tubs have bidets. I mean, the toilets have bidets. Very nice. So we stayed in this little town called Ro Romainville. All the description and links of this Airbnb will be in the description box. It is beautiful. The town is beautiful and very safe and quiet. We got ready to go out as soon as we got there. I changed my clothes. We washed up. We did our makeup. I had my little inspired Paris little outfit. I bought a lot of like two piece sets and like capsule wardrobe clothing so that I could put pieces together so that I'm not bringing a super amount of clothes. Um, had so much fun in this Airbnb. I was just so happy to be in Paris. You know, the saying, are you happy to be in Paris? To Beyonce, yeah, that was me. And Brianna, um, we, we had a whole tobacco with this dress. We had to get the zipper fixed and all this other stuff, but everything came together super cute. And this is us before we went out to dinner, before we went to go see the Eiffel Tower. So, um, the place that we stayed in in Romainville was about, say, 15 to 20 minutes away from everything in Paris. She's trying um, that we cargo. To How is it? Yeah. It anything for real. This girl is a big, big back, big back. You don't like it? I mean, it's not bad, but it's, I get the texture. Oh. It's not bad. So they are getting ready for the Olympics, the 2024 Olympics. So they're making the rises and everything for the open ceremony. And the actual, excuse me, the actual Eiffel Tower has the Olympic rings. I'm gonna show y'all in a second. I did not, I hate that the rings are on here, but on the sides of the Eiffel Tower, the rings are not there. But I was like, this is a beautiful moment. You know, you never get to see this. Um, we're not going to be here for the actual Olympics, but I didn't care if the picture, if our pictures actually had the ring in it. I have, um, I was, it was just too many people for me to try and take these pictures ourselves. So it was good for us to just hire one of these photographers because they are all walking around and they offered us 10 euros for one picture. So I said, I think, I thought it was a good deal because their pictures were amazing. So they happened to have balloons. They happened to have the balloons and props. We did not buy those balloons. Um, and they took these pictures for us and we chose what pictures we liked and we gave them the euros. And he even went as far as doing recording videos for us for transitions because I guess he realized I was a content creator. He even came up with this idea on his own and I was like, this is cute, it's so smart. I was like, oh, this is so cute. So all of that stuff um, I used in like some of my content on Instagram or TikTok. And then we stayed to watch the Eiffel Tower light up. I did want pictures of the Eiffel Tower lit up but we ended up getting like $50 worth of pictures 
before that and i'm just like uh i don't know if we need it but now i'm kind of regretting it we should have took some pictures at night too but um look how beautiful it looks so beautiful i don't know i heard people complain about the eiffel tower is not all that but it's gorgeous it was clean because they're cleaning up i i believe for the um olympics but it was super clean there and super fun and you know this is something that i've always wanted to see and to actually do it with my girls was very very heartwarming they even have cruise lines that go near the Par um go near the eiffel tower um they have like dinner cruises they have like a like a drink cruise like a booze cruise type of thing um with music and stuff this is one of the um boats here and it's a beautiful because you can see the eiffel tower as you go across the water and have a good time this is the restaurant we went to earlier and this is us and the uber with the uber driver he was lit okay lit the whole ride home he was lit he was really nice he knew english and um he was putting on like a lot of afro beats and uh we felt really safe in almost every city we were in the uber drivers did not make us feel no way um and the next morning we took it slow slow morning i love to have a lot of light brought in it helps me to wake up and i had like a coffee and i had a black coffee at that because i needed strong coffee and then i started to get ready and this is what i used and stuff to get ready this sunscreen is super nourishing and it gives you a nice glow does not make my allergies act up and i've been using the skin tint a lot actually one size primer so good for my my sweaty girls it's the called the sweat proof primer all day long and you just pat it on after you put your sunscreen and stuff on this is the skin tint that i've been using so far on this trip it's a little like, I want to say, like, a tad shade darker, but it's good once you put your concealer and stuff on. It la it wears really good all day. And for my oily girls, super, super um, hydrating, but doesn't leave you oily. about to head out for day two in Paris. We are, it's a little cloudy outside, but it's supposed to go up to the 70s. So hopefully it does that because it was definitely chilly. We're only spending like a few hours out. We want to see a couple of monuments, do a museum and maybe um, get, some, get some breakfast and dinner and then head back here so we can repack and get some rest before our morning flight because we're off to another city tomorrow. But in the meantime, in between time, the girlies are getting ready. Anaya looks like a true European today. They love their dresses and sneakers. Where'd you get that? It's in my blue bag. And Bribi is getting ready. She's doing her makeup. She got her little. So, in the little city that we were in called Romainville, it was quiet and everybody was like getting ready for work. There's a train station by there. This is the supermarket close by, and we bought some nectar. Um, because we didn't really eat anything before we left. So um, we took the Uber to head to, you know, Paris so we can go to the, the Labour Museum and um, just sightseeing while in the Uber because I knew we wasn't going to make it to everything. A lot of these places we went, you want to spend at least four days or five days in each place so that you can really take in all the, the greatness in each city. But... Um, I decided not to make this a two week two week trip because I don't I know after five days I am ready to go home. So this is us at the Labor Museum. We went to go take our pictures before it got really crowded and then we went to eat. Because the drinking age is 18 here, so she's got a pina colada. Is it good? And I had a penne pasta with red sauce and I had a steak with fries and a little salad and Brianna had a baguette sandwich which looked really good it had prosciutto and cheese in it joseph and junior plays this game it's a vr place it's called it has apex and stuff in here it's like the place that we take the boys all the time oh my god they would love this 
Well, they have PS5. And the VR is all the way back there. Because you know Belong Gaming is in the UK, and they just got rid of it out in the Great Line. We then stumbled upon this guy um, playing music, and I was trying to sing it, but I couldn't even remember the words. So we had to wait for our time frame for the Little Board Museum because we bought our tickets in advance and it was at 5.30 p.m. and we was early. So we decided to go to the Louis Vuitton store where they had a bakery and they let us go right in. They didn't. We didn't need reservations. She was saying bonjour to one of the girls. And um, we didn't need reservations or anything. So we went straight up and they have a museum, but you do need reservations for the museum, for the Louis Vuitton Museum. You do not need reservations to shop in the store but um, they had all the luggage and everything and all the bags and stuff out there. And the bakery was beautiful, you hear me? It reminded me like of Breakfast with Tiffany. Um, the menu had all the different desserts. We ended up getting a hazelnut entrepot. I can't say it, but we got that. Coffee, matcha, and chai tea. And then we headed out to go back to the Little World Museum, but I was so excited. Um, because it was beautiful. I can't wait to go back and do it again and shop at the same time. But I was oh, went I on a budget go, go because this, this trip is very expensive when you bring your kids. Okay. We went back to the Lavore Museum. Um, we got in and it was beautiful. The decor, everything was so beautiful in there. Um, the girls went straight to the Mona Lisa. So on the way to the Mona Lisa, these are the statues and the stuff that we've seen going that way. And um, it was very, very busy and packed at 5.30. If you want to get like good pictures, less people around or video, whatever, I do suggest going very early in the morning. It is hot in there. I feel like the AC was not working like that, but you know, it is what it is. It was a beautiful sight to see. I love seeing artwork. I love seeing, you know, sculptures and stuff like that. So it was nice. And the Mona Lisa was like, it was there. It wasn't, it wasn't all that. It wasn't huge. It was just there. <laughs> but we got to see it. Not baby Jesus. Attached to the museum, there is like a little shopping area. This is um, the um, Mc Cafe, the McDonald's Cafe. And they have donuts, brownies, all types of stuff. We are about to go to the airport. Um, oh, <laughs> we are working with no sleep, so this why I'm, I'm gonna sound like this all day. I'm, I'm just not gonna say, I'm gonna say a nice, good nap. She really isn't because the flight is only an hour. Oh, but you don't know me. And then, yeah, the train that we're gonna get on later is an hour too, so yeah, maybe she gets two full hours of sleep plus the ride, the sleep I'm about to get on at Uber. Must be nice. I gotta stay awake just in case. I sleep anywhere. It's us leaving at the wee hours of the morning to get in an Uber and leave in Paris. Paris, you have my heart. Oh, yeah, we're off to our next city. Aw, such they're so polite out here. I love it. You guys talk about French people all you want, but they we've had such sweet people here. Shut up. Make sure y'all stay tuned to see what we are up to next. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that 